design of the MinuSync modeling system. My name is Gleb Belov and my contribution to MinuSync has been in the MIP interface. Outline. Starting with a modeler's perspective, global constraints typical for constraint programming. Solver perspective, how a solver would like a model to be translated. Search strategi strategies in CP, predicates and functions help to create a structure in the model, interfaces to non-CP backends, along with some benchmarks. Motivation for MiniZinc. There was a push for a standard CP language to enable solver comparisons in particular, which means exp expressiveness, simplicity of Im implementation, and simplicity of attaching new solvers. Global constraint. The global constraint catalog defines this as a high level description which does not involve fixed number of variables or any fixed solver technology requiring algebraic or logical or procedural description of the constraint. Example assignment problem. We have a set of workers and set of tasks. Each worker needs one task and each task can be assigned to at most one worker. The formulation on the right is a MIP formulation. It is tight, it is ideal, so it's totally unimodular. The formulation on the left is not related to any solver technologies. It just stays a high level constraint, all different with uh, array of integer variables giving the task numbers for each worker. Similar traveling salesman. On the right we have a one of several MIP formulations. On the, la on the left we have a high level circuit constraint with uh, array of uh, successor variables. Resource constraint scheduling. Imagine a renewable resource like electricity and at any point in time you have a certain limit on electricity consumed and uh, the cumulative constraint uh, operates on a set of tasks with uh, variable start time with certain durations and resource demands and uh, constraint frequently used in static symmetry breaking is the lexicographic comparison of vectors. So these were examples of global constraints which are on the modeler's perspective. Uh, let's pass on to the solver. First technical information how the solver receives translated model from, from MiniZinc. This is a sub-language called FlatSync. Uh, it suggests it is flat, so it has no loops, no operators, just variable definitions and predicate calls. And the small model on the left has a disjunction of two inequalities, but it also has a Boolean variable which explicitly uh, reifies the result of the left inequality. The FlatSync model from this has a, the disjunction was translated to array bool or and then there are two um, predicates relating a boolean variable to each of the inequalities. And we also see that the boolean for the left inequality, the b1 is uh, reused in the disjunction, which is an example of common sub-expression elimination or CSE. And actually the more full extract from the flat sink is, it contains a bit more information, so it's not quite flat. It contains something which can help restore the expression tree. So it, it describes 
uh, which expression defines which variable for example and this flattening model was generated uh, for a CP solver because we have the disjunction and reification implication as predicates uh, high-level predicates without specifying how the solver should implement them so for a particular solver we might want to know if we really want that high-level information or we want some redefinition into more basic constructs so the ways to specify this well there are three three major paths uh, first is the so-called default re default redefinition if we use a global constraint the standard library could have a redefinition of that then the second way if the solver handles a constraint natively and the third way a solver provides its own redefinition in any case the constraint is first preprocessed by the library for example all different uh, calls um, first the analysis predicate and then uh, the predicate with fzn prefix which can be customized so for the first way the default way the library provides uh, redefinition which is just set of pairwise disequalities and the f for the flat sync this is unrolled into uh, flat sync calls meaning yeah, disequality if the solver handles the constraint natively then it needs to have uh, just a declaration of this predicate in its solver specific library and then it receives that high level description of the constraint and can do its best with that the third way to provide a custom redefinition in this case is uh, for MIP so we want to recreate the tight formulation from the example and another um, example unrelated is how we can redefine disequality it's just the disjunction of those two guys and we can say okay if the solver handles a constraint natively that's probably just for CP no uh, skip is probably the most prominent example it has over 20 constraint handlers some of them are global constraints from CP and some are from elsewhere and other MIP solvers do that as well uh, here is some experiment we have 51 instances from uh, Minizing challenges we have three solvers Chaft is a CP solver Gorobi uh, with a MIP translation of the cumulative constraint skip with the same MIP translation and skip using its constraint handler of cumulative and the results are number of optimal number of feasible and memory overflow when translating the model the CP solver beats everyone because it has a lazy clause generation which is very good for this constraint Gurobi, we don't know if it has lazy clause generation but even if it has it cannot use it because it doesn't have the high level information uh, skip with the constraint handler actually beats Gurobi in, in the total sum of optimal and feasible instances search strategies typical for CP but for CP we don't have something like LP relaxation so we don't have a big picture of our instance so a good stra search strategy is often very helpful and Minizing has a sub language for that it is search annotations on the solve item so for an array of variables you can specify variable selection and value selection strategies 
and something like restarts for example here is a model of n queens with three all different constraints and a search strategy which prefers variables with the smallest domain and then prefers the smallest values in the domains predicates this is what helps you to create structure in your model to reuse code by creating new high-level constraints an example it's no overlap of two tasks there is, uh, there is a fixed version of predicates with compile time results so if in the definition of the predicate you use just constants in this case bounds on the variables then it's compile time a generalization of predicates are functions their return type is more general it can be variables arrays constants and this allows the definition of functional globals like piecewise linear and they can be defined directly in the library in the language in this example we have the apps function after some preprocessing trying to eliminate trivial cases if we need really to impose uh, some constraint to compute this function then uh, this is the let construct we create an auxiliary variable with this domain and then we impose the global constraint and uh, there's this variable is returned as the result A relational semantics look at this example two variables and at this junction either y equals 0 or x divided by y equals something and uh, yeah y equals 0 is a valid solution of this but I think most modeling langu languages won't allow this and in Minusync this uh, is done using relational semantics which uh, says that an undefined value causes the nearest containing boolean expression to be false which means that if we have y equals 0 this uh, left part of the disjunction is undefined uh, so its boolean value becomes false and we take the right hand side value this is formalized in Minusync using, using the concept of partial functions which are not defined for all inputs and the division function is partial whenever the divisor has zero in its domain uh, first if this happens in the model then the resulting flat sync is a bit more complicated so if you can avoid having zero in the domain of the divisor um, and the second point is that the implementation of this proved to be rather complex because uh, when working the expression tree for each expression you also need to keep uh, the definedness result of that so this is probably kind of a pitfall the alternative is uh, strict semantics optional variables work in progress definition of an optional variable says var opt int or something similar there are predicates to query existence of a variable there is a function to opt which returns the value of a variable if it exists some operators weak comparison and arithmetic and some globals have been redefined for optional variables here's an example of optional cumulative it arrays, uh, receives an array of optional start times of certain tasks uh, then uh, array of variable durations and resource demand and the uh, resource capacity and uh, the redefinition uses the uh, occurs predicate and then the opt to obtain the actual value of the start time uh, yeah, and ensure that in, in any moment in time we do observe the capacity limit 
interfacing to MIP probably the, the basic part in this is to properly translate that the main constraints the main constraints can be static for example when you define a non-contiguous domain of a variable uh, or when you pose such a disequality which removes five from the domain but they also can be uh, reified or implied so some boolean variable implies that your integer variable belongs to a certain set um, the second group is variable subscripts or the element constraint you can subscript a constant array or a variable array uh, interesting construct is slicing so when you have a matrix uh, with some uh, for example sen second index running uh, a variable then you want to have efficient translation of that then other logical constraints and these first three groups when you get them right then most default definitions of global constraints from the standard library work pretty well they are tight in MIP but what remains is uh, non-linear arithmetic and uh, several global constraints which need custom redefinition uh, which is an established area of research other interfaces are SAT and you need to decide how you model integers and, and model uh, the global constraints then a local search solvers and they don't like symmetry breaking constraints and redundant constraints so it is recommended that such constraints are wrapped into the corresponding predicates so they can be skipped by the compiler and uh, there is a interface to NL format so mapping from flats and keeping some expression tree structure the releases of Minizing have uh, several tools packaged in them uh, for example find mass uh, which uh, a tool to find infeasibilities in the model sometimes called IIS there is a multipass compilation a Python modeling interface and some prototypes for example globalizer and constraint strengthening these are tools which work uh, by suggestion so they analyze the model and try to suggest some generalizations there is a interface to quantum computing a prototype which is largely similar to SAT One of the goals of MinuSync was solver comparison. The MinuSync challenges have been running since 2008, and last year there were 16 uh, standalone solvers and one portfolio solver. Here are uh, the results for instances from 2012 to 16. We have two solvers chuffed uh, cp solver and guru bmip solver uh, the results are optimal number of optimally solved in certain time limit number of feasible and uh, which solver gave better solution better primal solution what we can see from these results is that guru b solves more instances optimally and these are instances which are mainly uh, designed with constraint programming in mind which is impressive but we also see that the sets of instances which are good for each solver are kind of complementary so what happened after this I'm not sure if OR tools they're they they probably became aware this 
of this complementarity. So what they did, they combined the PSAT MIP local search in the solver and uh, what we observe since a couple of years exactly that they they just grab all those results uh, they have been winning the challenges by a wide margin which is a nice example of flexible usage of high-level uh, modeling information and I'd like to finish by uh, formulation of the stable marriage problem so in the in the top you see that uh, husband and wife are a race of husband wife indexes should be actually inverse mappings and then you have the ranking requirements uh, yeah there exists a better formulation for this uh, relation it's which actually called the inverse constraint but this this is a typical way in CP that you use nested uh, variable subscripts and the translation system should handle that well <laughs>